Welcome to the 55th episode. Wait, does that mean our show's ready for AARP? No. Of the Addison County Country Minute. I'm your host, Well Then Opinionated. And as always, a continued celebration of Don Well, it's that time of year again. You fellers and lady LL is those us people. Oh yes. Tools be changing from one season to the next. Shovels away. Maybe. Mowers be out. If they start. <laughs> <laughs> Memorial Day's been celebrated and praying the day. Summertime here in the good old Green Mountain State. And of course, skeeters be out in droves looking to drive you nuts. Yeah, but hey, enjoy. Today, we are bringing you another edition of the Outhouse Chronicles. That's right. A poem titled, I Have It That Sticks by L.B. Coley from the Bristol Herald, dating June of the year 1908. Give a listen. Yeah. When as a boy, he lived on a farm. He arose about four o'clock and wended his way to the old red barn, for he had to water the star. Years later, he moved to the city, and as a financier, made a name. But he still clings to his old habits, and waters the star just the same. Yeah, and if you have something you like to share now, don't be shy. Send it on in now, we like all kinds of crazy fun stuff. Yes, sir. We're all off a rock ourselves. Yep. Well, out of the noose. Two farmers headed into town up there in Snowbins to do some banking. Once inside, the two masked armed robbers burst in. Oh, what? Yelling and screaming, causing all sorts of motion. One of them takes the money from the tellers. And the other robber sees take everyone else's wallets, watches, and whatnot. All this is happening. One of the farmers slowly reaches into his pocket, slips something in the other farmer's hand. Without looking down and all nervous, the farmer whispers, What is this? Well, says the other farmer, It's a 50 bucks I owe ya! <laughs> Anyway, in other news, well, it was in between chores and the old farmer needed to pick out a card for his wife for their anniversary. So he gets to going down to Benjamin Franklin down near Middlebury to find just the right one. The clerk noticed just how long it was taking the farmer and asked if he could help. Farmer replied, nope, I got it. So the farmer proceeded to walk back and forth, humming and hawing, getting all blustered and seemingly confused, looking over one card after another. The clerk again went back to see if he could help one more time. Is there a problem, sir, he asked. Yes, sir, it is, he replied ruefully. I can't find nothing my wife would ever believe. <laughs> Rain. My God. Anyway, before we sign off today, we just want to remind everybody that June is National Dairy Month. Go out and support your local farmers now. Buy a milk or two. Milk is more hydrating than water, so they say. Oh, yes. Chew on that for a bit. Yeah. Anyway, tune in next week for another fast paced sighting and further episode. Yeah, bye bye. We never really grow up. We only learn how to act in public. <laughs>